Hi and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get started with digital planning. I'll show you how to download free digital planners and stickers and I'll be answering all my frequently asked questions like what are the best apps, devices and accessories to use. If you're interested in using your iPad or tablet as a digital planner, I'm going to walk you through the entire setup process and show you the tips and tricks that I've learned. A digital planner is a PDF file with hyperlinks that allow you to quickly jump between the pages. You would typically use a digital planner in a note-taking app on your tablet or iPad along with a stylus pen. You basically import the PDF planner file into the app and you can write over the top of it. There's so many benefits to planning digitally. I love the extra flexibility. You can move things around and easily undo mistakes. You can add photos and images and you'll never run out of your favorite stickers because you can simply copy and paste them. You'll also never run out of pages because you can duplicate those as many times as you need. Generally, I find it a lot easier to customize my digital planner and make it exactly the way I want. Depending on what app you're using, you can also sync your planner across multiple devices like between your iPad and iPhone or between your Android tablet and Android phone and this is really convenient for checking your planner on the go. You can plan for anything digitally such as meal planning, budgeting, making vision boards, basically anything you might do in a paper planner. You're going to need a tablet or iPad along with a stylus pen for writing. An iPad together with the Apple Pencil is a very popular option and you can use any iPad that's compatible with the Apple Pencil and the iPad, iPad Air and iPad Pro are all very popular options. Before I upgraded to the M2 iPad Pro, I was using a 2017 iPad Pro that I'd purchased pre-owned from eBay and this was fine as well except for being generally slower. I like the larger screen size of the 12.9 inch because I mostly use it at my desk, but if you're going to be carrying it around with you, then I would suggest one of the smaller models for portability. For Android users, I recommend getting a Samsung tablet with the S Pen. I use the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus and find this to be a very good size, not too big and not too small. I've also used the S6 Lite and S8 Ultra and they both work great as well. I love both of them and if you're choosing between the two, I'd say that for being able to sync your planner across devices, go with an iPad if you're using an iPhone and choose the Samsung tablet if you're using an Android phone. If you don't care about syncing, both are really good for digital planning, but if you're interested in digital drawing at all, I personally prefer the Apple Pencil to the S Pen. If you already have a Samsung tablet, you definitely don't need to buy an iPad to start digital planning. You can use a digital planner on a phone, but I personally don't recommend a phone as your primary digital planning device just because of the small screen size. Also, unless your phone comes with a compatible stylus pen, you will have to type using the text tool and you won't be able to handwrite. I like to do my planning on the tablet and have it synced with my phone so that I can check it on the go. On the iPad, my favorite app to use is GoodNotes. It's very user-friendly and has a ton of great features. I'll include a short GoodNotes tutorial later in the video. If you're looking for a completely free app on the iPad, check out Colonote. The user interface is not quite as intuitive, but there's also a lot of great features. For Android users, I recommend Penly app. This app is designed with digital planning in mind and even includes a selection of digital planners, but you can use any PDF planner inside the app. You can create your own hyperlinks between the pages and bulk import stickers. And I really like the handwriting to text feature. As for free Android apps, I don't love any of them, but you can check out Samsung Notes and Zodo. When choosing a digital planner, there are several things to look out for. For the easiest navigation, you'll want one that's extensively hyperlinked between daily, weekly, and monthly pages. For beginners, I recommend using a dated planner because it's already set up and ready to be used. But if you want to be able to reuse it in future years, you can choose an undated planner and write in the dates yourself. In my planner bundles, I actually include both dated and undated planners, so you don't have to choose. On the planner customization page, you can just select from the options. And here you can also choose things like the planner color, the rings color, what daily layouts and what weekly layouts you want. You can make as many planners as you want. And this also comes with a ton of stickers and extra templates for things like habit tracking, goals, productivity, fitness and finances. So I highly recommend getting a bundle if you're new to digital planning. Depending on how you like to use your device, you can choose a planner and landscape or portrait orientation. And there's also black paper planners if you like to use your device in dark mode. Also look out for planners tailored specifically for a particular purpose. For example, I have planners for teachers, students, moms, business owners, etc. And those would just give you even more templates that are relevant to you. 
So these are optional, but for the iPad, I recommend getting a matte paper feel screen protector for better writing experience. I have tried a bunch of brands and I haven't found one that's perfect. They all have their pros and cons, so I suggest trying some out for yourself. For the Apple Pencil, I recommend getting a sleeve because it gives you better grip for improved handwriting and you can also try switching out the tips to something more fine for more precision and control. If you're going to be typing in your planner at all, I suggest getting a Bluetooth keyboard. These are useful for typing out chunks of text such as for digital journaling. I also like to use a tablet stand and you can find different ones available. Some tablet cases also double up as a stand which is really convenient. I have a free digital planner you can download and try out right away. I'll put the link in the description. On this page, you can come down and pick your options. So I'm just going to choose 2023 dated uh, and then Monday start. And here you have a choice of two different planner styles, one with rings and then one without rings. So I'm just going to choose that one. And then if you go all the way to the bottom, you can tap on the download link and then tap on the share icon at the top and then choose your app. So I'm going to choose GoodNotes and then import as new document. And here is the planner inside the app. On a Samsung tablet, when you get to the bottom, you can tap on the download link, and then this window will pop up and you can just choose your app from the list and then tap on just once. I also have lots of free digital stickers in my freebies vault that you can download and use in your planner. So on this page, you can scroll through the different freebies and choose the ones you want. So I'm going to choose this one. So on this page, tap on the get it free button and tap on get freebies. And then you can just tap on these stickers individually and then tap on the download button. With some of our older freebies, you might see them listed out like this and you can just tap on the files individually, tap on download. To use the free stickers in GoodNotes app, you can tap on the three dots at the top here and then tap on split screen and then choose your files app. So they won't be in photos, but they'll be in files. And then you can see the stickers here and you can just long press on one and drag and drop it into GoodNotes app. You can tap on the hyperlinks to jump to the pages. And if you want to edit your planner, you have to tap on this icon here. And here you can see the toolbar. To use the hyperlinks, you have to tap on this no pen icon and this will allow you to use the hyperlinks again. So let's go back into the edit mode and here you have the pen tool. So here you can choose different colors. You can also choose a pen thickness. Here you have the eraser and you have the eraser size. Here you have the highlighter and you can choose different colors and the width here and you can just draw and hold. Here you have undo and redo. And here is the lasso tool. So if you tap on this again, you can choose what you want to select. Let's say I deselect images. I can select everything and the image won't move, but everything else will. You can insert photos and images using this picture tool. So here you can see a preview of some of the files in your photo album, or you can also tap this again and browse a bigger view. Here you have the text tool. So if you tap on this, you can choose your font selection here and then you can just place down a text box and you can type. And if you have scribble turned on, you can just tap on the page and write and it will turn into text automatically. You can also use the lasso tool to add a group of items to the elements tool. So you can just tap on add element. And then when you go back into the elements tool, you can tap on that group and it will place that as a group onto your page. You can also use the lasso tool to change color. So just draw around everything, tap inside it and then tap on color and then just choose your new color here. You can use the zoom tool to zoom into a part of the page and you might find that this helps you to handwrite. You can add extra pages with this icon here. So here you have some different options. And if you tap on the three dots here, you can also copy this page. And if you tap on the four squares at the top here, you can see these arrows under each page. This will give you the option to paste pages and move things around. I have a full GoodNotes tutorial that goes into this in a lot more detail and slower. So check that out if you want to learn more. For Android users, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Penly app. 
So in Penly app, it comes with these digital planners and this one is my favorite because of the rainbow theme, but you also have these ones which are a bit more minimalistic and all the planners are undated and reusable. You just have to write in the dates yourself. You have all the standard features like pen, highlighter, eraser. And one of my favorite features is the stickers panel. So if you tap on the stickers panel, you can bulk import a whole bunch of stickers in one go. So you can just tap on use the folder once you've browsed to it, give that a moment and then it will batch import all of that into this panel. Then you can just tap on a sticker and add that to your page. Here you have the text tool and you can tap anywhere on the page and use the keyboard or you can also handwrite and it will automatically convert to text. The shape tool is really useful for time blocking and you can create your own hyperlinks by tapping on the object, tap on the link icon and then enter in your page number. And then you can just tap on it to go to that page. I'll be making a more detailed Penly tutorial soon, so watch out for that if you're interested. Please give me a thumbs up if you found the video useful and drop me a comment. Are you thinking about trying out digital planning or perhaps you've already switched and what do you think of it? Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Thanks so much for watching. Check out my other videos in the meantime and I'll see you in the next one.